What is going on everyone and welcome to the TC Trading Channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be diving into how to create a customized layout on Moomoo. Okay, we're using the desktop platform here in this video. We are currently on a Mac. We have a video going over kind of a full walkthrough of what they have to offer on the desktop version, the desktop app that you can download. And we're gonna dive into now the trading section. So over here on the left-hand side, there's a section that says trade. This is what's going to pop up, but we want to make sure we can customize this so that we can use this to actually trade live when the markets are open, when we want to trade stocks. So right now, what we're going to look at is we are looking at what they're going to give us as the US stock trading preset layout. Okay. We could start here or we can create our own customized layout. We're going to start with our own fresh brand new slate. So over here next to the US stock trading section right here or tab, there's a plus sign, new tab. I'm going to click on new tab. From here, they have a bunch of already kind of preset sections or preset layouts that you can go from, or you can go ahead with a blank page. I'm going to personally start with a blank page and then save it. Okay, so I'm going to click on blank page. When I click on blank page, what we're going to get is we're going to have a completely clean slate here. and We're going to customize this to put only what we want to put on our trading layout. Because again, when we're trading live, this is what we're looking at. So you can add whatever you want, but you also want to make sure you don't have a bunch of stuff that you don't need at the same time. So when you click on that, you're immediately going to get this little box. It's going to pop up in the top right. Okay. This is kind of like your widget box. If you kind of want to, you know, make it similar to Weeble, it's the widget box. Okay. Now, right here, it's this little toolbox. Close the toolbox if I want to close it, or I can reopen it by opening the toolbox tab up in the top right, okay? We need to figure out what we want on our page. So let's click on watch list. So right here, I want to have a watch list, okay? So I'm going to pull this up on the bottom or on the, on the left-hand side. This is kind of how I like to do things so I can see all the stocks on a watch list. For example, I can then only have my positions pulled up if I'm in a bunch of stocks or I can have other different watch lists pulled up at the same exact time. So that's there, I can change that. While the market's open, live, I can click into a stock and it will ideally pull it up, which we'll show you how to do that here in just a few minutes. So from there, there's a lot of other features you can look at. So we can dive into other features. For example, the mini offer feature, that's gonna pull this guy right up right here. So this feature actually has a lot to offer. If we bring this across and we can show you guys what we mean by that, you're going to get a chart. You're going to get time and sales data and information right here by this guy right here. You're also going to get access to level two. That's one of the bigger pluses, I guess, of Mumo compared to Weeble. Weeble is going to make you pay, I believe, $1.99 as of right now per month to get access to level two data, which is going to show you beyond just the bid and the ask price. It's going to show you below that on the bid side and above that on the ask side to show you where bigger sellers are where bigger buyers are stacking up, okay? What price point, how many shares they're looking to buy or sell. That's what's important when it comes to level two. So I wanna look at that stuff, I always do. So I like to use this personally myself. And then of course, if I wanna change the ticker symbol, top left, TSLA, if I wanna to go to Tesla, boom, it changes Tesla, it has volume, has the chart, it has level two, has time and sales, all that stuff gets updated with one click. But there is some more we have to talk about as well. So, okay, we have this pulled up. We can expand this to whatever size we will like. And I'm going to expand it pretty large because I want to make sure I have a pretty nice big layout to look at and to view from. From there, uh, we need to trade, right? So, okay, this is great. We have our watch list. We have our stock. We got our level two time and sales. Great. How do we buy it? Okay, well, we need to have a trading feature that will allow us to buy the stock. So I click on the trading widget right here under the US components. Boom. And then I can go ahead just like that and I can add this widget in and it's going to pop up in the bottom right here underneath this guy right there. Now I can adjust the placement of this, but this is absolutely crucial when it comes to being able to buy and sell because we need to be able to do that. They have limit orders, market order, stop limit, stop loss, a ton of different options. And we'll have a specific video diving through that in the future. So stay tuned to the channel or check out our Moomoo Moo playlist. It may already be up here if we've gotten to it. Of course, a symbol name, we wanna have that typed in as well, but there's a way to make sure we don't have to type that in every time because we can have it set up so that when you type it in in one place, it automatically changes and corrects to all the other features, which we're gonna show you guys how to do right now. So on the top right of a given widget, there's a little section that's gonna be group settings, okay? 
on this section, I'm going to pretty much specify a group number or color or whatnot that I want. So I want to click on group one. So now I have set this widget right here. Okay, the mini offer widget, this widget is set as group number one. That means that when I type something in up here to change the ticker symbol, for example, let's say I want to go to like spy. If I click on spy, okay, that's great but it only changes it where there's a group one symbol. So I have to make sure in all my other widgets, I have that symbol selected, okay? So I go right here to that group settings and I click on one. Now, when I change spy up on this widget to let's say I wanna to go to Apple, it's gonna change it to Apple right down here so that when I go ahead and want to buy Apple shares, I'm looking at the chart and I'm also putting the order in for Apple right there all in the same place which you need to make sure you do because it's very, very common to kind of get things confused. Next thing you know, you're looking at Apple, but you're putting in a market order for Tesla or for Amazon or something, and you didn't want to buy that, right? And you don't want to have that happen to you. There's a widget for the option chain as well right here. I would highly recommend that if you're someone who's very, very interested in trading options, that's a great widget you can have. If you wanted to, what you can also do is you can have this widget, you can re resize it obviously, and set it to a different section of your screen. So I'm gonna put it down here. It just makes it kind of simple to see down across the bottom and I'll bring it across. And of course you guys can play around with the customizations and moving things around a little bit more as you see fit. So let's see what other widgets we wanna add in right here. There's a section for short sell percentage. I wanna have access to that information. So boom, just like that, I'm gonna get some information on the short sell percentage of Apple stock. I wanna also customize this right here, make sure my group is set to one, go back to the options section, make sure my group is set to one, because I wanna make sure I'm looking at all of the same exact thing when I click on and select a specific stock in any of my windows or widgets, I wanna make sure it changes across the board. So there you go. Now I have that. On top of that, I can look at a lot of other information as well. For example, I can go and I can actually pull up my account information. So if I wanna pull up my account information, I can pull that up as well. Um, some people don't like looking at this because when you're actively trading, last thing you wanna look at is, is, is looking at what your account's doing. It's fluctuating, it's going up, it's going down. It makes it a lot easier just to simply look at the charts, look at your actual plays, look at your trades and not have to worry about your account section. But the option is there for you if you want to. Also, we can put in a section for orders. If I have orders that are open, I can have all that pulled up right there in one place, as well as my history, if I wanna have order history and whatnot as well. And there's my statistics for today. So for example, I can pull this widget right on up. I can look at what's going on, how much cash I had, how much I made, P&L and all that stuff all in one spot. So there's a couple other things you can look at here, but I think it's fairly self-explanatory to start diving through on your own. Some other sections in the general spot right here, there's a clock. So I would highly recommend you put a nice clock just so you guys have a sense of what is going on. You can see, okay, Eastern time we're looking at right here. Here's the time it is. Market's gonna close, X time. You at least have it at least on your radar. Um, for sure, it's definitely something to watch going forward. Um, they have an AI monitor right here if you wanna dive a little bit deeper into actually monitoring some specific stocks on that. Getting more data all in one spot right there. They even have a section with is called stocks. So you can have like your screener section right here. I can have a stock screener that I can also overlay on my layout as well. Uh, and then there's more to look at as well, financial data. So what's going on behind the scenes that I wanna actually pull this guy up. I can pull up some financial reports and financial data, for example, revenues, some recent statements, earnings reports, and things like that. I can pull that all up right there. And uh, yeah, from there, that's pretty much it when it comes down to customizing your layout. Hopefully that's helpful. Again, I can come in and, and readjust the different you know layout sizes and the different sizes of all these different guys that I wanna have. For example, if I wanna make things fit a certain way, I can come in and mess around a little bit more. And then inside of the different actual widgets, you can go in and display things differently. So for example, right here, we're looking at the chart, but I can come in and display things a bit differently. I can display things like extended hours, not extended hours, so I can see what's happening in the after hours, what's happening in the pre-market, what's going on across the board. I can look at different charting features. For example, I'm looking at the daily chart right here. I have a ton of different indicators that I can customize as well over here in the settings section. Boom, look at this. All these indicators that you can come in here and adjust have on your chart, take off your chart by selecting these values. So there's a lot more that you can customize inside of each individual widget, which honestly, they can be their own videos in and of themselves. So if you guys want more info on some of those actual widget examples or info on that type of stuff, 
Let us know in the comment section down below. We'd be happy to make specific videos across that information. For example, look at Apple right here. We have Apple that's trying to break out over these highs up over that 140. It looks like a potential breakout zone for Apple as we see right now. There you guys have it. That's how you can create a customized layout on the Moomoo desktop platform. Again, we are using a Mac here in this example. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any more questions, any other concerns. We'd love to hear you guys in the comment section. Don't forget to grab four free stocks potentially with this brokerage platform. There'll be a link in the description box down below to take advantage of that. If you would like to, when you sign up, deposit 100 bucks into the account, take advantage of that, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.